Hi, this is Divya. Thank you for joining me today. I had a lot of requests for decoupage on glass. So here's a fun project. I hope you really like it. I had these metal corner legs for some time now and I thought the legs on the bottle will look very nice. I haven't done anything like this before, so it was fun to try it out. For the project today, I'll be using rice paper from Stamperia. I started off with scrubbing the label of the bottle and as a base coat, I'm using chalk paint. I was introduced to chalk paints from Paperishes last month and I absolutely love them. Um, they, are, they come in fantastic shades and they give a great coverage. As always, I'll share a list of all the supplies used today. I could use a white base coat here, like I always do, but I wanted the whole project to, to have an antique, slightly vintage finish. So uh, a slightly darker shade brings down the brightness of the paper. So using a, a slightly brown or beige or cream color will make it, make it slightly duller, not too much. So remember with chalk paint, a little goes a long way. I'm using a piece of sponge and I'm going all over the all over the bottle. I dry it in between coats. I like to keep my base coat as even as possible, so I don't use a lot of paint. On glass, I generally prefer giving two coats. After the first coat, I am using a heat gun to, to fasten the drying process. You don't have to do this. You could leave it to air dry. I get a little impatient when I'm making videos. I like to quicken the process. I'm just checking to see how much paper I'll need. I'm using a pair of scissors to first to cut the paper first and now I will tear it off with my hands. Remember to tear all four sides. I have to warn you here, I went off the camera a little bit. I I'm, I'm so sorry, I apologize for that. I'm using decoupage glue from Heritage. You could use any decoupage glue that you have. I'm using a flat brush to apply a thin even coat. And I will then, then place the rice paper where I want it and go over it with a brush. Go over the sides with a brush sealing it completely. Dry paper is forgiving. It doesn't wrinkle as, uh, as a decoupage napkin would. And it's so much easier to work with. I'm just going over on all the sides with my brush. I let it dry for 15-20 minutes and then I'm ready to paint. I'm using acrylic colors. I'm picking shades from the, from the paper. I'm using browns, some blues and greens as well. I begin the shading with a, with a shade of green and I quickly decide that it's an ugly color and I don't like it. It's not really going with my project, so you'll see me try and blend it into the background.
The trick to blending is use as many shades as possible from your from your paper from your design. Don't add in too many foreign colors. I'm adding in some white acrylic paint. The reason the bottle looks different is because I buy acrylic white in big quantities. So I usually get a big jar and um, I use a spoon to scoop it out. You'll see me blending on the sides and also going onto the onto the paper a bit. Not too much, but just ever so slightly. I use very little paint. That way I have a lot more control on what's happening on my project. I would recommend not to load your brush with too much color. You'll see me wipe off excess paint quite often. I would recommend you use a dabber, a sponge dabber for this. I didn't have one handy when I was shooting this video. Um, I ended up using a flat brush and you'll see that uh, the brush is quite ruined after all that of all, after all that smudging you could still use the brush for other projects of course but it will never retain the original shape i paint on the sides and then bring in the paint a little onto the paper just to give it some continuity Again, apologize for the shaky camera. Um, I shot three videos um, in a matter of day and realized that all of them were really shaky because of my new table and my new setup. Um, I promise to improve this uh, from next video onwards. I'm adding in shades of white and grey to kind of continue the look behind the butterflies. So I'm adding some paint over the paper and then dragging it onto the sides. Again this will help blend the paper and paint better. So the idea for me here is when one holds, when one picks up the bottle, one shouldn't be able to tell where the paper ended and where the paint began. I don't know if that's making sense. Uh, remember, it's okay to to 
for the blending to look patchy at this at this point i actually encourage if if it's patchy because once you finish stamping they all look really beautiful it all comes together okay so i finished i have finished most of the blending this is how it looks right now i'm picking some of the stamps i have from my stash along with archival links i'm using a brown archival link today i also got this custom made rubber stamp that says handmade by the vyata lab i'll be trying that one as well i will leave a link to where i got it in the description box below in case you guys want to get it made as well i picked a few stamps that i thought would go well with the with the project but i ended up using only one or two of them now i am not an expert in stamping so i wouldn't give you a lot of tips because i am learning myself i maybe didn't press hard enough um so the the impression you see here is not perfect at all but for this project i don't mind It is handmade by Divya Tala. Okay, so the the main paper had um lettering on uh, in the background just behind the uh, butterflies and I really liked that and I wanted to continue that on to my sides as well. So I'm using this rubber stamp that's flexible and will allow me to bend and kind of kind of continue the the script if you know what i mean i'm making sure that i stamp on the the edge so it looks like the script is continuing from the paper onto the side this might not be possible with with a mounted stamp because that will that won't that won't be this flexible that's why i love using unmounted rubber stamps I don't want the attention going away from the butterflies so it's important not to make the sides too crowded. Now I'm trying something new. I haven't done this before. I've seen some videos of people doing this on furniture and they call they called it color wash and I loved it. I love the the whole idea behind it. Um so essentially what I'm doing is I'm picking a shade of brown, a dark shade of brown. Um I'm adding a lot of water. I'm applying a thin layer on the bottle and I'm going to quickly wipe it down. For picking up the paint, I couldn't find a piece of cloth. So <laughs> so you'll see me use some toilet roll, but I would recommend you use a piece of cloth uh because tissue tends to tear and stick to the surface. Essentially you just need to pick pick up the color really quick. Um at this point I realized that the rice paper was was soaking in that water and it was leaving a stain and I didn't really like that. So I stopped and added a layer of varnish on the paper just where the paper is. I apply a thin even coat of decoupage glue on the rice paper and i let it dry for for an hour or so once it's dry i continue with another shade of color wash i've seen people do this uh technique with 3 4 different shades um and it works really well since this was my first time i decided just to stick with two shades so i'm using a nice blue to match the butterfly after the brown that i previously applied So color wash leaves a hint of color behind. It's really well blended. So there's a trace of of that color, but you you can't really see brush strokes or paint dabs and that um is a very interesting effect. I have not tried this uh, trick before. You'll be seeing me try it for the first time. I actually really really like it and I think I'll be doing more of this.
After the color wash, I decided to add some splatters of brown and blue on the bottle. I'm using a heat gun to fasten the process. You can totally let it air dry. I can already see all of it come together. What do you guys think? One last thing I did with acrylic colors is I took a nice bronze shade and I ran it, dabbed it a little bit onto my finger um, and ran it on the edges, running the paint on onto the thing onto the edges um, very subtly brings the just defines the edges, makes it look sharper. You don't have to do this. It's a person preference, of course. Remember, I had already used one layer of decoupage glue on the paper. So now I'm directly using wood varnish on all sides. You could use any wood varnish. I'm using um, Asian Paints Aquador. I usually take out some of the varnish uh, onto a bowl onto a bowl or a, or a jar and add a little bit of water into it just to thin down the consistency uh, for, a, for a better finish, for a better application. The wood varnish I'm using is, is a matte finish but it still has a slight shine, it still has a slight gloss um, finish to it. So I, I usually don't mind that, um, that finish, but for this project, for this bottle, um, I wanted it to look um, really vintage. Um, so you'll see me, so, so once the, the varnish is dry, you'll see me use um, an acrylic, a matte acrylic spray varnish. Once the Aquador is dry, I'm using Winston Newton's acrylic matte varnish spray varnish i'm using i'm doing this outdoors i am sorry for the really out of focus shaky footage i let the bottle stay out there for a for a few for 15 20 minutes so it's nice and dry uh, and then when i bring it back you will see you'll see the difference you can especially notice the difference when i'm turning the bottle now that that's done the last step was to adhere the metal corner legs onto the bottle you can use any strong adhesive that will that will stick metal onto glass e6000 and a glue gun i think work really well uh, i don't have both with me at this at this moment at this time so i view i'm using fevi bond and it works really well actually uh, the instructions say apply adhesive on both surfaces um, leave it alone for 10 minutes and then push them together really hard. So that's what I'm doing. I leave it, I leave this to dry for, for a few hours. I then let it stand on its feet. So that's it for today. I, uh, I really like the project. Um, I had a lot of fun uh, making this one. Um, and I hope you guys liked it too. Thanks for watching. Bye.